Hey, how's it going? Today is 13, uh, Monday, 13 of May, and we're taking a look at a market, what kind of opportunities we can find. Uh, in this video, let's take a look at some of the press releases after the UK joins European supercomputing scheme as world class British researchers now able to bid for funding. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Would I define myself as a researcher? <laughs> I would definitely do. <laughs> Perhaps it's more use cases than that, right? Uh, with some of this hardware, I spoke with the people, right? And uh, depending on which uh, computer you would like to access, uh, they might tell you what you can do with it. So that's a different subject, right? They might tell you that you need to do this and this with this computer. You might ask, oh, can I do this and this with <laughs> You might say no, right? Uh, I can share a quick uh, screenshot. This email that I have received this morning, so perhaps there's something to do with this. As well as if you would like to learn more, I think there's a training uh, platform of there. How to use it, so I don't know, perhaps for some people they would say it's a hard thing to do. I, I don't know. Uh, they're offering training. That's what I know. <laughs> Either way. British researchers, businesses, and oh, okay, so there is businesses up there, it's always good. And academia will have enhanced access to future computer research fund from today, okay. And UK joint European high performance computer joint uh, undertaking. Uh, perhaps there's a different organization, I don't know yet. There might be another one, so I have a chat to one particular organization who I believe. Is overseeing it, but there might be another one. Quickly, if we could touch on the calendar and uh, just reflect on the week that we had after the week 141. Overall, it was a great week. I managed to complete uh, project preparations. But uh, now I just need to submit those, some of these projects and uh, speak with a couple of people. Overall, overall it was a great week. I wish I had completed uh, way, way, way more than I did. But either way, let's progress in, uh, this week. Our second day of the week, we're going to have marketing. We have a little bit, uh, we're going to have a little bit of sales. And we're going to close the week uh, with the government contracts. Let's take a look at some of the bullet points and what we might be able to find in this article. That would be UK joins world class European supercomputing ecosystem and a Lux enhanced share of Horizon funded portion worth 770 million from 2021 to 2027. Okay, so that's a European initiative and I have reached out to uh, representatives. I think they have five or six of those. Uh, out of those, out of six representatives who should represent UK, uh, only one I was working with. Other people were busy doing other things. <laughs> so prepare yourself. And the uh, person that I was working with for perhaps three weeks or so, uh, stop responding to emails. Uh, the person had to go to a meeting, I think it was in Malaysia and all those kind of things that uh, asked me to do a couple of tasks. I have completed uh, project presentations, all those kind of things immediately. But in a matter of, I don't know, 12 hours or so, everything completed. And the uh, person on the other side stopped responding. So now I need to, I don't know, <laughs> talk to all these people again. And why these people are getting paid in the first place. <laughs> so it's painful. Either way, let's progress. Uh, Europe uh, High Performance Computers brings together supercomputing resources from across 35 countries, bolstering eight supercomputers based in every corner of the continent from Portugal to Finland. Eight, uh, I'm not entirely sure, 11, I think this is how many UK has. Uh, Germany has a lot of those, but either, either way, it's really something that I do know a little bit, but either way. UK scientists can use the facilities to power the discovery of new drugs, uh, target medical uh, treatments, and advance clean energy. So uh, exactly, so that would be just a uh, few sectors that could be or use cases for some of those computers, right? 
uh, sometimes they would ask you for many things, all these kind of things, but uh, I don't want to be very discouraging, since it's really, it might be a very hard thing to do. <laughs> My measure means UK uh, brightest minds can now work in partnership with European colleagues and across European HPC or high performance computers, Horizon Europe funding projects, right? Uh, I don't know yet, but more than likely I would be looking for universities. So let's say it's a university in someone in, let's take Germany, right? Somewhere in Germany. And that university needs to have a computer and I would enter into agreement with university and staff of university would have access to that computer. And then that's partnership that we can work with. So that's how I would do it, but that's not necessarily limited to only this particular process of working together with partners in Europe. British researchers, businesses and academics will have enhanced access to future supercomputer research funding from today, uh, that will be 13 of May, as the UK joined the European High Performance Computer Joint Undertaking. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's something that's called Euro High Performance Computers. Uh, more will boost UK, already the world's leading supercomputing research community. To power discovery of new drugs, harness the full potential of AI and more. I don't know why we keep referring to this particular problem. Perhaps it would uh, need to undergo a lot of training, but I don't know. I don't know. But either way, so the, there's the examples there, right? Uh, Europe High Performance Computers brings together top class supercomputing resources from across 35 countries, including Norway, Turkey, and all uh, 27 uh, since uh, <laughs> other, uh, many partners, right? 27 uh, EU member state to drive research in the next generation of computing technologies. The UK has secure enhanced access to Horizon Europe funding portion of the program worth over 770 million between 21 and uh, 27. Okay, so. Uh, I like to reach out to this team, I was at a different team and uh, actually using finances, right? And how those finances would be funding uh, any company taking part in this. The move will support our scientists to make use of cutting edge European computing facilities and UK gain access to throughout Horizon Europe. The, they are built to solve problems and perform relations with more speed and more power uh, than traditional computers are capable of making these systems uh, vital for development of exciting the discoveries and uh, will be benefit us all uh, from new medical treatments to novel clean energy applications right uh, I was taking a look at fusion energy right so that's really just an example of energy applications and how hard it can be uh, working with fusion energy, how can it, how expensive it can be, right? <laughs> this name created. The partnership aims to boost world class leadership in similar computing as members pool resources uh, and knowledge to develop scientific excellence in this field by joining the joint undertaking. <laughs> yeah, undertaking, I don't know. It sounds like American wrestling. I hope it's not American wrestling with undertaking. I hope it's something serious. UK scientists will have the opportunity to bid for vital research support, straightening a case computer capacity. In November, your UK bespoke deal uh, to associate uh, to Horizon Europe, secure UK research across uh, future European high performance computers. They can now gain further access to the Horizon Europe funding portion of Euro HPC, which is worth around 770 million from the Okay, so I believe we just repeat this uh, one more time. <laughs> so we're <laughs> repeating it. Uh, <laughs> let's not repeat it. Come on, let's focus <laughs> on what you're doing. <laughs> but anyway, I, I do understand what this article is all about. Let's, <laughs> I don't know, should I continue? So there was uh, something that was called prom priming. There's a different initiatives there, but uh, <laughs> so I hope this article won't repeat itself. Which match funding from the government, UK researchers, uh, businesses, and our scientists 
can now bid confidently for the future of Euro HPC grants, ensuring our brightest minds have access to cutting edge computer facilities. Uh, if you can, so it's always good to have those partners, but if anything, start perhaps uh, by considering country where well, I have shared uh, partners in UK and from there perhaps that could be way, way, way better approach since it might be very hard and uh, there's a time frame, right? So, <laughs> so the, this opportunity might be closing within the next three years, but you never know how big of a project you might be interested in solving. Europe, HPC grants require match funding from UK on a case-by-case -case basis and more information on how this will be made available will be provided in the due course. Researchers can apply for time on uh, Euro HPC systems and for Horizon funded research and innovation grants from Euro HPC website. Oh, okay, so there's a website there. Uh, I don't know if there's uh, more to this article. <laughs> so we might be taking a look at some of the projects, which is not necessarily important. Uh, I mean, I can share some information on what else is uh, within this article, but overall, uh, that's what I would like to do. You reach out to the team and if team would be able to respond. So this is how I imagine my expectations since uh, uh, previously uh, reaching out to UK took six months or so. <laughs> so people will be doing other things. Six months, I don't know <laughs> if that's reasonable time frame. So that's why to reach out to Europe, perhaps they would respond within 48 hours, which would be very good. Otherwise wasting our time and let's do something else. <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling it's just because uh, I guess I'm marketing this initiative, if anything, I'm reviewing this initiative, right, as of now. I'll reach out to, again, the team, that would be people from UK uh, that are there uh, taking part and getting paid. And uh, these people are failing miserably. <laughs> people are failing it. So I don't know, so I tried for myself, if anything, I had touch on uh, some initiatives taking place in the UK. I'll try to chat to the team, uh, something that uh, they highlighted in Europe, about the uh, team from UK, but I don't know if people should be always seen a little bit better, or uh, the people responsible, uh, they're not responsible for anything. <laughs> I can tell you right now, <laughs> they should be responsible. The sums of money that you're talking about, of the taxpayers' money, we're talking about 770 million. And <laughs> this is how much money, and people not doing anything. <laughs> so I'm kind of angry to say the least. All my money being wasted. So the uh, the uh, advertising that they have uh, five opportunities available. I'll reach out to all five. More than likely, uh, six months later, I'll touch on the progress. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.